welcome to the Energetically Fit Show. My name is Jess Batson, and today I want to show you how you can make your very own nut milk. I have made my very own almond milk, and the reason why I have decided to make my own almond milk is because the almond milk that you buy in the store, if you have ever checked the expiration date, it doesn't expire for almost a month. And that means that there are chemicals and preservatives in the milk. And that can be potentially harmful to your body if you drink it over a long period of time. Make my very own almond milk completely fresh, made from raw almonds that you will want to buy at your local grocery store. I buy from Trader Joe's. That's my favorite grocery store. They have a huge pack of uh, about two pound bag of raw almonds for about five bucks. Pretty cheap, it makes you about three to four batches of almond milk, and it's fresh. So when you make fresh almond milk or nut milk, because you can also make cashew milk as well, it will last you about three days. And you will definitely know when it's gone bad because you can smell it and it also has a funky sour taste to it, just like real milk would. First of all, you will want to get a container. Container with a lid and you have a Vitamix, that's perfect. Um, if you don't have a Vitamix, you can use any Lender, uh, Nutribullet, Ninja, what have you. Anything about the those Regular blenders is if they're not high powered, you need to let your almonds soak a little longer than normal. Okay, so I have here my own container right here and in it I have filled it with water and I have my almonds in there and I have been soaking it for about four hours already because I don't have a Vitamix so I will be using my Ninja and show you how simple it is. Uh, once your almonds are soft and soaked enough. For every cup of, of almonds that you put in the container, you'll wanna add two cups of water. And then you can go and play with it. If you want it a little thicker, add more almonds next time, or if you want it a little more watery, more liquidy, then add more water next time. Okay, we let it soak. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just pour it into my Ninja. Your almonds are soaked enough, you can just take it in your hand like this, you know, and just kind of squeeze it, Woo! A little bit, you see how that came off pretty, pretty easily when I squeezed it. <laughs> so that means they're pretty good and ready. If you really want them soaked to where they can actually crumble in your hand, um, you can do that as well. Another reason to have a high powered or soak them a little longer is so that you don't get those almond pieces in there or those almond chunks indicate for you to let your almonds to soak a little longer. All right, so let's blend it up. Another way to tell if your almonds are ready is water will get very cloudy and even turn kind of white like milk. So that will be a good indicator to know when your almonds are ready to be blended. There you have it, friends. Your almond milk, blend it up, put it in another container that has it covered like you would any other milk, and put it in your refrigerator to chill it, or pour it right in your coffee if you just made coffee or tea, or if you have oatmeal, and it's ready to go. I mean, this is exactly what it looks like. It's absolutely delicious. It smells good too, I'll try some. It's good. It's also unsweetened as well, so if you would like to have it a little sweeter, if you're going to drink it by itself, I would just add some all natural organic agave or even local honey. Local honey also helps with any sort of sinus or allergies that you may be having. All right, so that's how you make your very own homemade nut milk. Uh, if you decide to try it, go ahead and share this video with your friends, post on Instagram or Facebook using the hashtag energetically fit is it can get separated just a little bit. Just wanna stir it so that it doesn't feel so frothy and liquidy at the top and then a little thicker at the bottom. So just stir it up before each use and enjoy.